In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you could create a simple wood material. Let's create a texture brush in the compositor first. Find a wood texture and open it in the image node. Here's the final result. Use the color wrap to make it black and white and adjust the contrast. With invert nodes, I choose which flow of the wood I want to be dominant. With color key, I select the color which I want to be transparent. Select standard to have correct color settings in viewer node. Now you can save your brush. I have created a UV map for the default cube which is great if you bake a normal map for the hard edges. There's also a cube to be subdivided. It's got the same UV map. And there's a cage which I've created with Displace modifier. Add a new material for a low poly mesh. Add a 4K texture for the base color. Go to Texture Paint. Select Stencil. Add a new texture. Select Image Aspect to have it in its aspect ratio. Adjust the strength of the brush. Set Bleed to 32 pixels as we have a 4K image. Adjust the stencil size with holding Shift and right mouse button. Save the texture as you finish. Now we need to make a high poly mesh. In this example, it's easy to do with the subdivision surface. Go for as many faces as you need and your hardware can handle. Add Displace modifier. Set its strength to a lower value. Add a texture for it. Open the texture that we have created. Set texture coordinate to UV. Set base color to black to see the details. Adjust subdivision and select shade smooth. Apply all the modifiers. Add a new texture node for a normal map. Set it to 32 bits and select non-color. Select the high poly mesh first, then the low poly with holding control. Select normal. Set margin to 32 pixels. Find the cage mesh and bake the normal map. Check its quality. Save the texture if you're OK with the result. Add a color wrap and connect your base color texture. Add Mix RGB node. Select the colors and connect factor with the color wrap. Connect it to base color. Add Invert. Connect it to Specular and Roughness. You can adjust glossiness with the color ramp. 